What's up, bonus channel? Wanted to introduce my new to me 2014 Raptor SE. I know what you're thinking. Vin, didn't you have a first gen Raptor already? What happened to your Toyota? I thought you were a Toyota guy. Well, let me explain. So, I had a 2010 Raptor. Uh, it was the first year of the Raptor 5.4, and I had a blower on it. And it was the two door, the Super Crew. It was awesome. I love the truck. I did a bunch of work to it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. But because of the blower, when uh, my commute changed, uh, I was getting like eight miles to the gallon and I got over it really quick. So I actually traded the dude who owned Hertz Corolla, uh, Adam, for his TRD Pro 4Runner. Drove that for a bit, really liked it, but when it came to towing cars and just kind of all around having fun while driving, I didn't really love it. And I knew it was worth more than I enjoyed it, if that makes any sense. And uh, I decided to sell it, and I was on the hunt for another first-gen Raptor. This time, I really wanted a 2013 or 14 because it's a 6.2 liter, and uh, it comes with like updated headlights, some little features on the inside. So this is uh, my 2014 Super Crew Raptor SE, which is special edition. So basically, comes in ruby red, comes with this like transparent graphic. And it also has like red interior, which is pretty cool. I was a little indifferent about it at first, but I like it. I uh, flew out to Phoenix, picked this up because it was a pretty good deal. And uh, it had some like Gen 2 wheels on it and a camper shell like cap. So I knew I could recoup some bucks on that stuff. So I sold the cap, picked up new wheels, got some KMCs. I like these, they're super chill, like car guy wheels. Mounted up the 35s, BFG KO2s. Picked up a rolling tonneau cover from Truck Covers USA. Of course, come on, it's a V8, so I gotta put a Magna Flow on it. So I did a little exhaust. Overall, I'm gonna keep this thing pretty chill. I don't think I'm gonna go and do anything nuts to it. I really like it in its stock form. I just wanted to make it better. Little improvements, reallocate some of the funds that were on there, but then also, I do wanna continue doing overlanding and camping and towing the car to the tracks. So I'll do some minor upgrades just to kind of make it better at that. So I wanted to intro the truck, also have a little bit of work to do to it today to set up a tent and stuff, so gonna make it a little bit of like a build episode for my intro to my daily. So let's get to work. All right, so got the cars out of the garage, cleaned up a little bit because it's a complete mess in here. I was working on the M3 last week. And uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, kind of replicate what we had last time and put on this front runner stuff. So it's actually pretty cool. I thought it would come here on like a freight pallet or something massive, but uh, it ships in pretty small boxes. So I'm sure it's in a million pieces. Got to put that together. But uh, on my last truck, I got a lot of questions about my uh, bed rack and tonneau cover situation. Because a lot of times like you put a bed rack on and then you have no way to have a tonneau cover that like locks. So essentially anything you put in your bed, your tailgate may lock, but you could reach in and pick it out. So. That was a big bummer for me when I first put my bed rack on last time. So I was really stoked to find this Truck Covers USA like rolling tonneau cover. Basically all it is is it's like a tonneau cover that works like a garage door. So you just like unlock it, hold it out. It's super easy to install. You literally drop in that canister, clamp on these side rails here, and then all it is is like you want to lock up some stuff. Boom. Locks up. Lock your tailgate. Throw it in there and you're pretty good. Yeah, I really like that setup. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot on my last truck. It was the best thing because you could actually bolt the rack to the channels and then obviously the rack slides. So there's no way to, you know, there's no worry about like a flipping cover or something for clearance. So this was really clean. I liked it a lot. So I'm just gonna install this front runner stuff. I'm gonna film it, talk about how we're gonna mount this one up because there are a couple different options on how to do it. And uh, I'll take you through what I decided is the best way to mount this thing. So I got the rack assembled. It's actually really simple. It slides into place and then there's a nylock nut in there. That's just the base of the rack. Uh, and then I have the legs here. I like the mid mount bed option that I had on my last truck. I do realize that sometimes I don't, like I'm not gonna go camping for a bit and I don't really wanna keep the tent on the truck at all times. So I did opt to have the shorter mounts. So it's really low to the bed. Uh, because it would be easier to take on and off by myself. So I actually got the mid mount ones here and then the low rise here. So there's about three to four inch difference. So 
the lower ones will sit pretty much like six inches above the bed. Another one is about a foot. I'm gonna put the lower ones on for this trip and I may switch out to the higher ones on the next trip uh, if I'm gonna be hauling like wheels and tires or gas jugs or something bigger where I kind of need the extra bedroom. All right, so this is actually really slick how the, uh, all the features of the front runner stuff works out. So all you have to do is it's notched here. Take a hex nut, it's channeled, so you drop it in, slide it over, and then, you know, this drops here. Just nut and washer it on. So the nice part is, is when you tighten them, since it's channeled, you don't need to like hold the nut back on the other side or anything. So it's super easy. Um, gonna leave them loose so you can slide them back and forth. So we don't know the width of the truck yet, so we wanna make sure that those are able to slide around. So we'll just snug them up to the point where we can move them and move on. All right, so we got the rack all built, and the next thing we're gonna do is actually riv nut this, uh, these tracks right here. So they recommend rib nutting them every six inches into the uh, side of their rails here. And what I'm trying to do is actually get it as far over so that it's on top of the structure of the truck rather than you know here where it's creating a point of leverage. So we're gonna drill these in six holes down the side of the bed rail, rib nut them in and then bolt this down. So included with the kit from truck covers is a bunch of rib nuts. And I have a tool that I borrowed from Jason from Rotiform that I never gave back. There's that too. So gonna figure that out, drill a bunch of holes, and hopefully they all line up. Ah, well that took a lot longer than I thought. And now it's dark. So just about ready to put this thing on. We got the rack built. Actually decided to change up to the higher mounts because they put the uh, racks out further to the side so it's over the bed more. But uh, we got these all mounted up, looking good. So just gotta pop the tent on here and uh, we'll pop the rack on and then throw the tent on. But this is the easy part, it should take like five minutes. So stoked on that. A little bit of a headache getting it set up just uh, cause it's like a custom way to do it. And I tried doing the rib nuts, didn't work out just because of where the bolts land. So what we did was actually put nuts and bolts right through it, right there, um, into the channel right here. And uh, actually it sits quite a bit better. Now this is all nice and flush and the bolts right there. It doesn't sit on the body like I wanted, but this is how Truck Covers USA says you could do it. So fairly confident in that. So let's put this thing on. Okay. All right, so we made it out to uh, Anza Borrego in uh, San Diego. Got the truck set up late last night. Didn't really have time to film us putting on because it was dark, but I figured I'd do a walk around once we got it out into the desert. Got the tent fitted up, cover on, keeps all of our stuff locked up nice and safe. You know, make sure no one can get to the CT crunch. You know, load up all of our stuff in the back here. So great to have all that stuff, keep all of our supplies locked up. Also great to take your new truck out and completely demolish it on trails. Luckily, this stuff kind of comes right out, but definitely gonna have some scratches there. Yeah, that's it. It's uh, New Year's, so we're gonna spend the night here and uh, start a little fire, have a good time. So just gonna pop this thing open and that'll be a wrap for this.